Hey guys, so today I wanted to try out a new product and of course you guys get to see it. Um, this is a pen and ink, it's like a dipper pen. And I never ever used one, well that's not true. I had one as a child but I didn't have any ink. So that didn't really work very well. But um, this one I just got at Joann's, I think it was $6.99. But um, I did have a coupon, so it was less than that. And so let's draw with this. So I start off by just um, experimenting with the pen a little bit. I wanted to experiment with it all over graphite since I always do my sketches in graphite. I wanted to erase it soon after I drew it to see if there was any smudging and there absolutely was no smudging so that was pretty cool um, I'm working on doing some line variation and stuff to just kind of get used to it a little bit before I use it on an actual artwork and here we go me starting to sketch um, this is an artwork I've wanted to do for a while, which is the well with something interesting below it. Several other artists have done this, and it's kind of like an exercise in creativity, like what would be beneath your magical well type of deal. And so I took this opportunity to be able to do this artwork. Um, and you can see I always do my sketching with a mechanical pencil because I like that they always stay sharp and I don't like having to stop and sharpen my pencils a lot. So this um, pen is really cool because you can get a lot of line variation out of it which um, before now I've been using a um, ballpoint, ballpoint pen which does not give you any line variation at all and um, I've tried the microns and stuff but they just don't have hardly any ink in them and after a week I'd need a new one and I just wasn't willing to spend that much money on them and um, also in order to get line variation with them you had to use multiple pens and go over your lines multiple times and it was just really really troublesome so I um, quit using the more expensive pens a long time ago and just opted for the Pilot. Um, but I wanted to start experimenting with my line variability and that's where this pen comes in and it does a really good job. Even the cheapo one I got, it you get a lot of different size lines which give you a lot of depth in your artwork and it allows you to do some shading with your black line without it looking like I don't know too dark it doesn't look too dark when you shade with a very very light line um, I do a little bit of hatching in this artwork mostly around the wood to make it look more like wood and then I do a little bit of stippling later on on the bricks There are my little plants. I love these twirly whirly little plants. Um, they're like vines and stuff. And then that was pretty much all I of my original sketch that I kept. Um, everything else I'm kind of winging it at this point. I didn't have any of this grass or, or rocks or any of this stuff I'm drawing right now in the sketch at all. I just, I had decided right around this time that I absolutely was not going to color this because it was already taking so long to draw this. Um, not specifically because of having to dip my pen so often, but I think more like I didn't know how to use the pen, so I was having a lot of trouble with it. I was having to clean it off a lot and stuff like that, and so it just took way longer. Oh, my wonky moon. It's so wonky. Just ignore my wonky moon. It's just a sketch. It doesn't need to be round. Um, 
So here's me doing more grass, more grass. All the mini grass. Anyway, originally I was not going to draw every single blade of grass, but originally I was going to color it, and when I decided not to color it, I had to um, make a lot more detail in order to make it interesting without color. And I always lean toward color, so it was actually a stretch for me just to do an only black and white drawing without any color. So it was new in many different ways. More little plants. I really liked that this pen had such a very thin line when I wanted it to. I've never really had a line that really thin. And so um, I was able to put a lot more detail in than I normally would. This paper is only the standard, I think, 8.5 by 11. Maybe it's 8 by 11.5. Anyway, it's like the standard size paper. And normally, with a normal pen, I could never have gotten... The kind of detail that I was able to get in this artwork and I really I really like a lot of detail in my art so I really enjoyed that that I could get so much detail in it more grass more grass around this time oh, there it is there it is did you see that there was a little ink dump like the I think that the back of the pen got too close to the paper and the drip of the ink in the pen um, touched the paper and just dumped all that ink on the paper but and it happens about four or five times in this artwork but luckily it only happened on the grass so I was able to kind of hide it with shadow you'll see me do that later right now it looks obvious and then this part um, these rocks I've never been able to make these rocks this pretty they're the line variation is so good for drawing rocks. I was amazed at my own skill. It was really cool to see that. So anytime I do rocks like this, I'm definitely going to be using this pen. And you can also see from me doing those rocks, compared, compared those rocks to the actual well, and you'll see that I actually learned a great deal already about the line variability. You'll be surprised at how quickly you pick this stuff up. And so this is me doing the shadows and you'll see a couple more times, well I don't know if you'll be able to tell where the ink dumps onto the page and I had to clean it up with a cloth. But here's me just drawing grass. I really like to draw grass. It's super fun once you figure out how to do it. And I'm just giving it some depth there with all the shadows. Um, and then I took a little break. And during my break, I had decided what I wanted under my well. I had actually had about four or five different ideas for what I wanted under my well. And I drew many of them, and I sketched some of them on a different page. But I finally decided to draw this little child here. It's actually from one of my comic books. Um, trying to figure out how to get from her little raft on the ocean up onto dry land. Because right now she's just, I have no idea how she did it, but she got herself stuck on the ocean on a little bitty raft. So there she is looking up and trying to figure it out. And that's a little fairy. I don't think you can tell, but it's a little fairy creature that is absolutely no help to her ever in my ocean. So I'm actually considering now that I've actually done all of the line art that I might color this. So if you want to see it colored, let me know and I will do a color of it. Well, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.